Good morning, everyone. We are the group five, the seven presenters. We are assigned to discuss information about comprehension, which is the ultimate goal of reading. It is composed of listening and reading comprehension, formulating questions of different levels about selection read, and explicit instructions of composing skills. The assigned members are Michelle Saldana, who will discuss about the comprehension, which is the ultimate goal of reading, and Mary Rose Misoles, who will discuss about the listening and reading comprehension, and Miljin Dalogdog, who will discuss formulating questions of different levels about selection read and yours truly Noreen Marie Tilakan who will discuss explicit instructions of composing skills. Good day class, I am Nisha Grace Aldania and I am one of the demonstrator of group seven. So our topic was about comprehension, the ultimate goal of reading. So under comprehension are listening and reading comprehension. Second one is formulating questions of different levels about selection read. The next one is explicit instructions of composing skills. So what is comprehension? Comprehension, comprehension is about extracting meaning from what you read and the ultimate goal of reading. So when we say comprehension class, it is about understanding and interpretation of what you read. For example, I will ask you to, to read a book or a text. So you as a reader, you need to comprehend the text that you are reading in order for you to extract the meaning no, of the, the text that you are reading. So there are six, uh, no, five comprehension strategies. The first one is using prior knowledge or reviewing. So when we say using prior knowledge or reviewing, before you are going to read a book or a text, you need to you need to preview that book or text. For example, uh, just like. Uh, reading the title of the story, know, uh, knowing if it is fiction or not fiction, non non-fiction, and of course, um, the the details, the details of the story. If there is abstraction, then you can read the jump out word lang no. So with that, you have you can get an idea of what will happen to that story. The next one is predicting. Predicting, predicting rather, is someone connected to using prior knowledge or previewing. So when you say predicting, it is when you are going to predict what will happen to this story using your prior knowledge. But you can change your prediction as you read. Now, as you get more information, you can revise your prediction. Next is identifying the main idea and summarizations. When you are going to read a book or a text, you need to identify the main idea or the main point of that story in order for you to get, uh, in order for you to, uh, what do you call this one? In order for you to create a summary of that story. So it is also important to take note all the details, important details, no, the important details of what you are reading. So the next one is questioning. Qu questioning is one of the important aspect of comprehension because it can help the students to actively uh, to engage actively in text, no, through asking question. No, even it is basic question. No, it can help them to to comprehend what they are reading. Because there are some people, no, there are some students or some readers that cannot, uh, cannot understand the word. So it's are it's important to question. No, it's important 
that's why questioning is important next is vis last one is visualizing when you say visualizing it is when you are uh, when you are going to imagine the text that you are reading so through your imagination you can create mental uh, you can create mental images of people events places through using your uh, imagination no so uh, you can uh, it also can help you to understand to understand the text that you are reading that's all Good morning everyone. By the way, my name is Meredos Kimisales and for today I am going to tackle about the listening and reading comprehension. So now let's first define what is listening comprehension. So listening comprehension that is measures from decoding plus language comprehension. So listening comprehension is that um it measures when the pupil is being read a text and subsequently answers questions related to the text they have heard. So students need to have a listening comprehension in order to in order to answer the questions after the readings. So listening comprehension is has uh, two distinct parts. So we have the perceptions and the comprehension. So first let's talk about what is perception. So perception that is perceiving the signals as it is given. So we all know that people has um, perception is determine how different people perceive the same messages. So we all know that people has different um, perceptions about the readings. The second is the comprehension. So comprehension is very very important. Uh, important especially in understanding of the message conveyed so listening comprehension that is focused on the listening skills of a student so now let's proceed to what is reading comprehension so reading comprehension that is measures language comprehension so reading comprehension is that is measured when the pupil reads on their own and subsequently answers questions relating to the text they read. So the reading comprehension is an example of that. A teacher is given a story to story to uh, to students, and then the students will read with with re read with their own, and then the teacher will ask questions about the reading. So the teacher will measure if the students really. Um, really has the reading comprehension so that is for the listening and reading comprehension so to conclude that listening comprehension is focused on the listening skills while the reading comprehension focused on the their reading skills that's all Good day everyone, I am Elgin the Lugdog and I'm going to discuss about formulating questions of different labels about selection read. So, um, you can formulate questions before reading, during reading, and after reading activity. It is very important to ask questions to your students in order for you to keep their attention or interest in the reading activity. And it will also help them to predict or make predictions and comprehend the text better now let's tackle first the before reading questions so before reading you will going to present to them the materials or the book that you will going to use and you can ask them about their ideas based on the materials presented you can ask them if it is a fiction or a non-fiction and you can also ask them um, about what might the problem that the main character might face based on the title or based on the cover of the book so the following are the before reading questions or the possible before reading questions so first we have do you think this is a fiction or non-fiction text and why second we have based on the title or book cover what problems do you think the main character the characters might face third what are some possible solutions so after you are go you will going to ask them about what might the problems that the main character might face 
you can um, also follow up the question with what so, what are some possible solutions so fourth question is what clues has the author provided for you in the title and illustrations and the fifth one is what are you wondering about so these questions are um, the possible questions that you can ask your students or your pupils before reading so you can ask them these questions just based on the cover of the book or the title of the book now let's proceed to during reading questions so during reading you can um, you need to stop periodically to see if pupils have any questions or clarifications and you can also ask them questions about the story and um, in order for them to be actively engaged and make sure that they are comprehending the text better so the following are the possible questions that you can ask them during reading first is is there anything that you don't understand that we should go back and reread so you are going to ask them if there's a text or there's a phrase or sentence that they don't understand so that you can read it to them again second what illustration do you think will be on the next page why so based on the current page that you are reading or um yes based on the current page you will ask them what what um they think will be on the next page and then third one is what details have been important to the story so far so you can also ask them the, the important details that be here or um, yes you can ask them the details or the, the important data details that they think it is important and the fourth one is how do you think this text will end and why so this um, questions are the possible questions that you can ask them during reading next is after reading questions so after reading you need to ask them questions and you can you can use the um, higher order thinking questions in order for you to assess their understanding about the story or the text and it can help you also to understand to know if your pupils really understand and comprehend the text so the following are the possible questions that you can ask first what do you think the author wanted you to learn from this text second if the author wrote a sequel to this text what do you think the sequel would be about third is there anything from the text that didn't make sense to you and fourth one is think about an unusual detail in the text why do you think the author included it so by um asking these questions you will know if your your pupils really are listening to the reading activity or so that's how we formulate questions before reading during reading and after reading the next explicit instruction of composing skills to be discussed by miss noreen tilakan i am noreen marie tilakan and i am going to present and discuss to you about explicit instructions of composing skills. Teachers should provide direct and explicit instruction to improve students' reading comprehension. Specifically, to implement explicit strategy instruction, teachers can do the following. First, select carefully the text to use when first beginning to teach a, a given strategy. So in this passage, all those strategies can be applied to many different texts. They, they cannot be applied to blindly to all text. For example, using main idea, summarizing is too difficult to do with narrative text because narrative text do not have clear main ideas. The second one is show students how to apply the strategies they are learning to different texts, not just one text. Okay, applying the strategies to different texts encourages students to learn to use the strategies flexibly. It also allows students to learn 
when and where to apply the strategies and when and where the strategies are inappropriate. The third one is ensure that the text is appropriate for the reading level of students. In this passage, a text that is too difficult to read makes using the strategy difficult because students are struggling with the text itself. Likewise, a text that is too easy to read eliminates the use of strategies along with the skills in the first place. So begin teaching strategies by using a single text followed by, followed by the students, applying them to appropriate text at the reading level. The fourth one is use direct and explicit instruction for teaching students how to use comprehension comprehension strategies. Okay, as the lesson begins, it is important for the teachers to tell the students what the what strategies they are going to learn. Tell them why is it important to learn about the strategies model them how to use the strategies by thinking aloud thinking aloud with a text and provide guided practice with feedback and most importantly discuss the importance of, of having having the will of using strategies along with the skills. The fifth one is provide the appropriate amount of guided practice depending on the difficulty of the strategies that the students are learning. So for example, in this passage, a strategy of predicting can be demonstrated briefly and with a few examples. However, summarizing a paragraph or a passage may require several steps within the guided practice. First, provide support for students in cooperative learning groups. The, fourth, the second one is, as the students become better, gradually reduce the support for students by asking them to remove the cooperative learning groups into pairs. The last one or the third one is reduce support for students by asking them to use the strategies on their own with text as they read independently. The sixth one is ensure that the text is appropriate for the reading level of students. So the sixth one is too much focus on the process of the learning. The strategies can take away from students understanding by itself. So instead, show students using the strategies that, can, that it will help them to understand the text they are reading. So the goal should always be comprehending text, not only using strategies. That's all my discussion. Thank you. To conclude, so comprehension is the main goal of reading. So comprehension or extracting meaning from what you read is the ultimate goal of the reading. So reading a uh, Reading is experienced readers take this uh, for granted and may not appreciate the reading comprehension skills required. However, so the bold process of comprehension is both interactive and strategic. So comprehension, uh, it adds the meaning uh, to what is read. So as well as makes reading enjoyable, fun, and informative. And that would be all. Thank you.